All right, let's look at this next example. So we're still multiplying. We have 10 square root of 6p cubed, 4 square root of 3p. Just as before, we're going to multiply the outside numbers and multiply the radical numbers, like separately. Now 10 times 4 is 40. Square root of 18 p to the 4. All right? Now we want to simplify this. Okay, so this is 40. 18 is not a perfect square, but I can write it as 9 times 2. And p to the 4 is good because 4 divides by 2 exactly. Okay, so we have 40. Square root of 9 is 3, so that multiplies the 40 on the outside. p to the 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. All right, and we get a square root of 2 left over. Okay, so this is 120 p squared, square root of 2. Yeah, that's a good b. 2 fourth root of 20 y squared. 3 fourth root of 28y cubed. Multiply the outside numbers, we get 6. Multiply the radical numbers, we have 20 times 28, 560. y squared y to the 3 is y to the 5. Alright. Alright, so now we should simplify this. I need to do the factor tree on this one because I can't tell what's a perfect fourth root. That, that number is big. All right, so let's do the factor tree. This is like 10 times 56. 10 is 2 times 5. They're both prime. And 56 is 2 times 28. 28 is 2 times 14. 14 is 2 times 7. All right, good. So let's have this. This is 6 fourth root of, we have four twos, so this is 2 to the 4. We have a 5 and a 7. All right? y to the 5, we're going to separate as y to the 4 and y to the 1, okay? because we want exponents that divide by 4. All right, so 6, 2 to the 4, fourth root, we get 2 to the 1. y to the 4, the 4 divides by 4, and we get y to the 1. And what's left inside the radical would be the 5 times 7, which is 35, and then the y. Okay, so we have 12, absolute value of y, fourth root of 35. Yes. All right, that's it for these problems.